Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go, we're going in. We are live. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. We are live. And I'm gonna share this with conversations. I think that's the only one. together there we go right have i shared it yep and bring this strong together done okay good evening good evening good evening guys how are we doing i hope we are well I'm just waiting for a few more people to come in to my Facebook page and then we're going to start because we had such a good discussion earlier on uh, about being single and how we're coping in this present climate. So let's see who is going to come on. six people hi guys hi guys hi guys lovely 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 thank you for joining joining me this evening right i'm gonna go over to the zoom room we're in the zoom room i've got two people in so far I'm gonna, we're not gonna so much wait for everybody to come in but we are going to crack on with the conversation we have kelly on here um and we have uh carol as well in the zoom room at the moment okay and i am going to look on my actual phone because that is going to give me the um what you guys are saying now for those of you who want to come in the zoom room you can but you have to let me know all right so everyone's saying good evening now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the uh the chat right and so can say, now for those of you who want to go. Zoom room, you can. there we go i'm going to turn the volume down here and then we're going to be good to go so good evening robert how are you doing I know that you are here watching as well. We've got some people in the room. So let's introduce our, our panel um, at the moment. And for those of you, there are a few more spots for the panel. So if you do want to come into the panel, um, I will put a link, or actually if you scroll down my page to where I was talking earlier today, you will see the link there if you haven't taken it so i'm gonna go ladies first i'm going to just say good evening to carol so i'm gonna unmute you good evening carol lorraine good evening good, e <laughs> good evening evil evil michelle <laughs> good evening. thank you for joining us today we're going to have an open and a very candid conversation about how singles are are coping in this time i've called it um um sex sexulation I, I made up a word because <laughs> i thought i was being funny and creative um yeah in this time of lockdown where we're in isolation how are we coping as single people so as people are coming into the facebook uh, room we are in to uh the zoom room so carol lorraine thank you for joining me i'm gonna just pop you back on mute so here we go we've got some Somebody, so somebody else knocking on the door hello 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 Anne. how are we doing Anne? right and i'm just going to pop you on mute as i'm just going to i think you're already on mute i am just going to introduce kelly on hi kelly on how are you doing 
I'm doing very well, doing well. I've, I feel like the great comfort of all these women around me right now, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for some men to join the um, Zoom room. We want some brave men who are willing to talk. We've got 16 people in um, the Facebook room. So come on, guys. I know that there are men out there. Come on, we want you to join in as well, because we want it from your perspective as well. So we want to have a very, very broad conversation. We're going to be talking about being single, um, in this time, we're going to be talking about being married or being engaged or in a relationship <coughs> um, in this time. Uh, we know that it's uh, quite a um, challenging time for some. We've just gone through the first week of the official lockdown. So we want to know how we are coping. We wanted to bring this uh, conversation in after the watershed because we didn't, well, I didn't know who was watching earlier on and there was some words that we used earlier on and I thought, you know what, we need to do this where the children are supposed to be doing other things. So I just want to welcome Webster, I want to welcome Sheena, I want to welcome Lisa, uh, Gordon Productions, I want to welcome you, Robert Williamson. Oh, these are the names that are coming up, but I do know that there are more people in the Facebook room. And we have the beautiful Anne um, on in our Zoom room. Hi, Anne, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, and so we have another we have another female coming in. We've got Mother George here on Facebook as well. Yes, this should be very interesting tonight. Okay, we're going to get the word as well. We've got Ruth. Hello, Ruth Carter. You're like upside kind of halfway. The other way. Thank you for joining this evening. Right. So, like I said, gentlemen, any one of you who, Jude, Jude Linton, Jude, if you could um, scroll down onto, if you have Zoom, scroll down onto uh, my normal Facebook page and you will see a link. Actually, let me see if I can put the link in here. And come in the Zoom room, please, Jude. Because we're looking for some men. Even Robert, either. Hold on. Let me see if I can find you. If I can find the link and then you can come in to the room. Because that would be good. So Kelly on will have a buddy. Ah, oh dear. Okay. Coffee. Right. Okay. So I'm going back up. I'm coming back for you guys. Right. There we go. It's in the link. I've just put it into the link. Okay. Lovely. As long as you guys can hear me, make sure that you let me know that you can see me. Show some love from Facebook. So. Ah, uh, okay, right. So Jude's got his daughter next to him sleeping. So okay, he's with you, Kelly. On, don't worry. He's going to be tidy. All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. So this evening, this afternoon, I uh, did a post, as you know, some of you know, and I was talking about being single. I just had a conversation with a friend, and we were talking about. Well, the person was telling me about how they're coping um, as a single person. Um, not being in a re being in a relationship, but not living with the person and being in isolation. All right. So I thought that I would have this conversation. I thought, child, let me just go on to Facebook and let's have a conversation about it. Because as you guys know, I love to have conversations. Hence why I have conversations with Yvonne Michelle. I like to talk about lots and lots of different subjects, but this one is quite close to my heart, being a single person myself. Um, and so we were talking, hi guys, hi Avril, hi Tracy, hi Mark. Um, thank you for joining us this evening. So Mark, if you wanna come into the, the uh, Zoom room, you're very welcome. The link is in the feed. So um, so we were, talk we were talking. And from this, from this conversation, we ascertained that, you know, that it's not as straightforward for those who are single. But then in the conversation on Facebook, we realised that there were some married people who were also saying that they were having struggles in the area. We mentioned sex was mentioned. We're going to talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. We're going to talk about sex tonight. We are. We're going to talk about at the elements of sex as well, because one of the ladies 
made a comment in the in uh, our yeah. conversation before that most men masturbate. That's how they get over it. So we want to have a really open and candid conversation tonight about how we're really coping and how we're going to get through because really and truly we are only in the first week and really if we're realistic about this thing we are looking at this lockdown thing is going to be for a while all right let me just say that not to make anybody upset not to make anybody uh feel away but the truth is the truth if we look at the other countries and where they are we will recognize so we're looking at end of june july end of july <coughs> even all right so we're going to kick off our conversation um and i i'm going to first of all go to the panel and ask them because we've got different um people in the panel we've got some who are married some who are relationships some who are not uh we've got male and female we've got one male and i'm waiting for another male to to pick up themselves and come in the zoom room and be part of the panel to answer your questions. Guys who are on Facebook, you can type your questions in the thread and we will do our best to answer the questions. And we're gonna talk openly, really openly. There, you know, it's like take off the mask. Take off the mask because we have to get real. We have to get real, we have to help each other. So I'm gonna go, to, I was gonna um, speak to Anne, just say hi to Anne. Hi Anne, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. And how are you, Ruth? I'm good, I'm good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So um, what we're going to do with the panel, if you just, if you want to answer a question that comes, if you put your hand up and then I will unmute you. So I'm going to mute all of us. It, what will happen is we'll all start talking at the same time. So just to keep it flowing and keep it nice and steady, um, if we need to say, I'm gonna put the hand up. So the first thing is, who is ready to be open and honest about where you are in your journey of this CV, as I call it, um, time that we are going through? Is anybody willing to talk about their experience of being single um, in this season or married or where they're feeling? Is anybody on our panel ready to talk? I don't see my hand. Kelly on, well done. Okay, so we'll go to Kelly on first, then we'll come to you, Ruth. Okay, Kelly on, thank you for joining. You are unmuted, we can hear you. So how has your journey been so far, sir? Well, I am single anyway. Mm -hmm. So um, it's no different for me anyhow. With regards to dating, I, I'm actually on a dating app. So I do, I do speak to women quite regular anyhow but I have noticed how I'm getting more attention <laughs> I don't even it's kind of strange actually even saying that because it's women that actually um use that word in terms of attention in that sense but I can clearly see that it's women that are wanting attention now because of the whole isolation stage so I can really see that they are quite lonely so I'm having a lot more women now contacting me and asking me how I'm doing and obviously knowing that we're in a time of quarantine. But um, for me, it's it's no different because I've been talking to women anyway, um, but it seems as though they're more available now. Okay, so can I ask a question? Have any of the women asked to meet up in this time? No, they haven't asked to meet up um, directly anyway, but it, um, are women ever direct? Um, they would kind of insinuate and if you're a man that can read a situation, you will know what their intentions are. And have any of, had, have any of them had intention towards you? <laughs> Go ahead, straight for the jugular. No, come on, brother. Let they, us talk. Yeah. Um, no, it hasn't been direct like that. Um, I've had one in particular where she has been, she has been friendly <laughs> to the point where um, I... I yeah, well, um, if, we, if we feel as though um, we are clear from the whole coronavirus thing, it should be happy for me to go around there. Okay. That's, that, that's what I'm in actual fact, she basically has agreed, yeah, I could actually go around. Okay. Hi guys, those of you just joining us, we're having an open conversation um, about being single through this 
time of isolation and we're going to be talking about lots of different scenarios tonight but we've just been talking to Kelly on about his experience of being single um and um and being on a dating site because we know that that's all, all we have right now is to you know to have those conversations it is mainly dating site and as I was saying earlier if you are looking for a business Actually, I might as well do this for myself. If you're looking to, if you've lost all your income and you are looking to start a business, that is the, the business to start, a dating app. Because you will get, you'll get inundated with people and they will pay for the service if you have good prospects on there. So there's an idea, guys. If you're looking to start a business, a dating app, go for it. I might actually, you know, I'm, if I was technical, I would do it myself. I would, I would. Who's going to come in with me? Let's start a business, guys. Anyway, right, so I'm going to go over to Ruth. Ruth, how are you? I'm just going to, I'm going to unmute you. How are you, my Hi. darling? Good evening. I'm good, I'm good. Um, okay. Move on. I'm good. What's your experience? What's your experience of being single? Well, I'm single. I've been single for the last couple of years. And recently, literally, like in the last month, I think, I just thought, I was at one of my cousin's house and she was introduced to a dating app. So I just uploaded it a couple of, about, I would say like three, four weeks ago while I was at her house and kind of like filled in my profile because I haven't done it for a while and I thought yeah let me go out there before this whole COVID thing happened and I put my um you know credentials on and I actually had a date just before the lockdown <laughs> which is quite funny um but then um a couple of I think maybe Maybe four or five days after the date, um, I was notified by the person that they were having symptoms. And I was, I've been fine. I've actually been all right. Um, but for the last couple of weeks, I haven't really been accessing it to engage in conversation because I just haven't had the energy. Um, my son's in year 11, so it was, he was up and down with the school closures. And so I just focused my attention more in the home. So I kind of had the energy to start yet. And then it was like, this happened and it was like, uh, no. So that's my experience in a nutshell. Okay. Okay. So we're going to come back to that story. Ruth. We're going to come back because I'm sure that there's more that we can unpick there in that story. Okay. okay. So we've got Anne. Anne is next to Ruth. Anne, what's your experience? I know that you are not single, right? Oh, hold on. Let me unmute you. Sorry. Okay. That's it. You are unmuted now. So hi, Anne. Hi. Yeah, I think we can hear you. So what's your experience been in terms of um relationship and companionship in terms of this lockdown has it made any difference to you well not really because as you know with my situation i'm at home um with my husband um i'm wife and carer and um it's been the same as before the lockdown the only added thing is I have to try to keep him inside <laughs> because he's one of the vulnerable and he likes to wander around because of the stroke and pneumonia. He has to be indoors. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the only added concern for me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I'm going to jump over to Carol and because we, we're going to be coming back to you guys shortly. Hi, Carol. Hi. Hello, my darling. So tell us what your experience from being, I don't know what your situation is. So tell us what your situation is and what, what you've experienced. Um, I'm currently single um, for a few years. Um, I have been on a couple of dating websites. Um, I've talked to a few people, but that's been it really. Um, 
I think I just I started a job recently, so I've not really been on it. But you know, just seeing who's out there um, on the websites and that. But it's just I don't know. It's strange to me because something um it's new to me. You know, so who to trust and who not to trust. Um, you know, but I've not been on any dates. Okay. I think that's just me um, holding back. It's, it's a trust thing. It's a trust thing, so it's holding back. Okay, so t so Ellen, from my perspective, I am single. I am going to be as open and as honest as I possibly can be. Um, I am single. I've been single for a little while now, and um, I am not dating any one person in particular. All right. So um, I am on a couple of dating sites and I haven't been on them for a while. And that's because life has happened and life has been busy. However, I had a moment a couple of days ago when I thought, which was one of the reasons why I thought I would have this conversation with all of you people here. I suddenly thought to myself, what if this is it? What if this is how life is going to be from now on in terms of this lockdown situation where we have to be in our homes, we can't go out, we can't socialise, we've got the social distancing, there's no touching involved, there's no kissing involved, there's no emotional connection involved, it's all, you know, is, is that the dating now going to be online period and I sat with myself and I really had to talk to myself hard because the mind is the mind and the mind has its own way and it has its own patterns and it works the way that it works and sometimes your mind could get carried away so my mind was starting to go well that, that means that there, there's no intimacy no kissing no touching no sex no and and for somebody to tell me that I can't for me it's like oh my god no 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 I'm not having this uh, you're not you're not controlling me in this way so I had this moment which then made me start to think about and I had a conversation with a couple of other people and they were like saying their truths and how they were feeling and you know uh someone said to me that you know it's it's been a week and 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 they're itching that they, 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 they need to have some sex because they that's what they want to have and so it made me think how are we going to cope how what is the coping mechanism for us now as single people who are fully red blooded who are still young enough still got a spring in our step still want to do something or have these emotional attachments want to be hugged want to feel the pulse of somebody else next to you other than your children come on let's be honest and what 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 is the next step what how do we take this further so we had this conversation today and people started saying all these different things and then what came out was that there are some married people involved in this who are saying because of this COVID-19 no, no, there is no there's no interaction uh, between them in terms of having relations and so I thought to myself let's have an open conversation let's see what we can come up with let's see what ideas we have let's see what strategies that we could come up with to help us to get through because we are still in the first week or two well we're like 10 is it 10 days maybe in we've got months to go so you know there, there are certain things somebody said in our feed before um they were saying to read your bible and um, I just said, I said that would work for some, but it's not going to work for all because not all of us, not all people are Christians, not all people are believing in that, not all people are at that stage. So it's well and good to say that. Let's not be over religious about this. Let's look at what we can really do. All right. So I've been open and somebody asked me, how am I coping? And I said that I would be honest and open in this conversation or what am I doing? They are. I'll be open and uh, in this conversation so as we go along that is something that will come out a bit later on in the show but I do want to welcome um, everybody on Facebook um, guys wave to everybody on Facebook right we're all here right so let's jump in let's jump in let's jump into this conversation now 
uh, is dating sites the way forward? Are they the way forward? Because after this, after this, when this is all over, there's going to be a lot of parties. There's going to be a baby boom for sure. So all of those people that the government are happy to see die, right? I'm not, I'm not going to hold back my mouth either. So all these people that the government are happy, all these elderly, elderly people, the government are happy to see die, they are going to be replaced with these new babies because there's going to be a boom because people are going to be at it hardcore because and that is going to be whether they're in a relationship or not so what happens now for those people who have a booty call a regular booty call or they have uh, a friend with benefit so it's it's just the thing how are you coping guys on facebook right in the feed you this is a uh, a dialogue it's not a monologue. We want we want you to say how you're feeling. We want to hear your honest answers. We want to know so that we can start to actually help and give our own feedback. Georgina Scott, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. You were absolutely amazing earlier on with your comments. So I do hope that you have some comments for us. Hi, Steve Adams. How are you doing as well? So guys, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Carol's laughing. I'm like, let's talk. Now for me, <laughs> as a single full-blooded full -blooded woman, I'm wondering, I'm, all, I'm actually at the moment, I'm kind of cool. Because as I said uh, earlier on, I've done five years with nothing. I've done five years of being absolutely celibate, no masturbation, no nothing, no, no play, no touching, no, no phone sex, no nothing, right? I'm being, I tell you, I'm going to tell on no, as it is today, right? So, so for me, round about now, I'm okay. I'm cool because I've got other things going on. But how are we? Hi, Deborah Bake. How are you doing? Thanks for joining the conversation. So how are we really doing? Guys on Facebook, start writing in the feed. Tell us what you think. I will read out what you're saying on the feed while these guys on the panel are speaking. Like I said, I'm looking for two males to come into the Zoom room. There is two more seats in the Zoom room who are willing to come and talk their truth about how they are feeling in terms of this lockdown, in terms of relationship, in terms of, you know, how they're coping sexually. If you're with someone, that's fine. If you're not with someone, that's fine. We just want your opinion. We want to know your thoughts. So if you're willing, the link is in the feed. Ring the bell and I will let you in. We only have room for two men. All right, two men, guys, two men. We've got enough females here. We need some men in the room because we want to hear what men have got to say we want to know how you're dealing with it because me as a female and i'm going to throw it over to you kelly on i'm like this the lady earlier on said that most men masturbate so i'm gonna say that, yeah that's what i think too and that's how it is and that's how most men would get through this time am i wrong to say that and think that Hold on. Wait. There you go, you're unmuted. Yeah. Um, men that masturbate are going to masturbate anyway. So it's, it's no different from what's, ha what happened, what's happening now than what was happening before. So you still have access to the internet, so you can still look at um, porno uh, videos on, on the net. And uh, obviously, if you feel that you need to re release yourself or you're just having that moment where you're feeling horny, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. So, do you, so what are you saying is that, that most, most um, are you saying that most men do masturbate anyway? No, I'm not, saying that, I'm not saying that most men masturbate, I'm saying men that masturbate, obviously gonna masturbate anyway. But in terms of what you're saying, gonna have, like if, people, if men don't masturbate, for instance, it, would this now mean that, that they will now begin to masturbate? Possibly, I'm, I'm not, not sure. But um, it, it's, it, it's either going to come out through having a wet dream because your, your body needs to get rid of that um, or you're going to do it yourself. 
that's that's what's going to happen okay so this 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 is a human thing that happens it's medical we have endorphins men have endorphins women have endorphins that go around their body and they have to they have to release themselves right so this yeah. could, it's a medical thing yeah um I mean, when you say medical, could you be a bit more specific? Because that's quite a technical or quite a clinical word to use when you say medical. Well, well you know, I think for, for have my understanding, because I'm not a man, all right? Mm. So my understanding is that, you know, the body the body needs to release. And so the man, the man gets pent up. So actually, medically, he needs to release anyway. So that right. would be yeah. a, a fun way. Yeah. yeah. I'm 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 glad you said that. It's a bit like females having their periods um, once a uh, once a month. It's like a cycle. So um, if I talk about me personally, um, there could be like a period where I'm just not feeling any way at all in terms of um, like um, a sexual desire and such. So I might have a sexual interest, but not like a sexual desire to want to have sex. But then there might become there might be a stage where I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually want to have sex. So it's then, so that's when the body that is obviously saying that it wants to uh, release, you know, or get, get, get it out. And, and that would happen either through a wet dream, because it will come through a dream, or you will feel that you want to go on a porno site, whatever, or, or you just have your own imaginary thoughts and you just get on with it. But if you're talking about that with regards to specifically men, then yeah, I mean, women do masturbate i mean let's not let's not get that twisted that does yeah. happen yeah. you know i mean to, to say that women don't that would be ridiculous um so i think it's something that both men and women do anyway but if we're talking about obviously we're talking about men right now um those that masturbate are going to masturbate anyway so there's no different to what's happening now or what happened before or what's going to happen after as men will just do it but if you're talking about some some men don't actually masturbate some men they see it as no i'm not going to do that I do this with a woman mm -hmm. and that's it. Now, if it's a case of he is very much um, very adamant that he's not going to have any sex with any woman. And obviously there might come a period now where he's used to being able to get it and now he can't get it. Then his body obviously is going to com communicate with his brain and say, wah, guan. So he's not going to have to decide uh, whether he's going to manually do it himself, but it will be, it will come out, it will, he will have a dream and it, it, will, it will come out that way. Right, thank you for that. And, and that's what I wanted. I've, I've unmuted you, Ruth. Um, and I'm going to, the thing is, I think when we hear things, we want to we automatically want to respond. So I don't know if you want to respond to that, but I've unmuted you, Ruth. I'm going to unmute you, but if, mm you hear someone else talking I want you to you know kind of like let oh, okay. each other the time to speak but before we go any further I just wanted to say what you were saying because what you were saying is it's kind of hit the nail on the head for me in terms of a man who doesn't who doesn't masturbate now he's been given no choice he can't go and see who he's been seeing because they're not married and now it's a lock off so he can't have it so what does he do before you answer that question um, we've got some people on the feed that say, uh, Steve, Steve Adams is saying he'd love to join, but his partner says he has to do the hoovering now. Ha <laughs> ha. <Just kidding. laughs> but it's been a long day. So just thought he'd say hi, have a great evening, everybody. Judy's saying, I am agree. I agree. And say masturbating can help guys out in times of struggle. Um, he also says, but masturbation is a choice. A woman's period isn't a choice, right? That's from Jude. Um, um, Deborah saying, I think men will do whatever they do, no matter what's going on. I don't think our situation is going to make it any different. Um, I think a man's release is natural, like when Kelly on mentioned about a wet dream. So there you, you go. Mm -hmm. Um, do any of you ladies want to interject on what Kelly on has said? I agreed with him. And when you were saying medical, I was saying more biological. It's, it's a body function. It's something that is a function of the body. So it's like when you start something and you kind of get a taste for a, 
feeling, it's like you want to have that feeling again and again. Whether it's yourself creating that feeling or whether it's somebody else creating that feeling. But because we're in lockdown and, you know, some of us are single, we're, we're left with the situation as, you know, you've got hello hands mm -hmm. and um, you have battery operated devices um, that can be used. You can even plug some of them in the wall. Um, so there's lots of different things, but it all depends on how you're feeling um, is whether you're going to engage in that or not. Okay, anybody else want to come in? No? Well, Ruth has, has hit, hit a nail on the head, but I'm going to come back to, I'm going to, going to, going to come back to um, the Bob, Bob, our battery operated boyfriend a little bit later. Oh. Um, did you say something, Carol? Was he laughing? No. Okay. So Gina Scott saying, I've asked a few men, she said, about it if they do masturbate when they're not in a relationship for uh, for a while or when not getting uh, it from their partner. And a few have said they would train them, train instead to take the focus off that need, basically. And this is what we were saying earlier that. When sometimes, you know, you go to the gym, so you're, you're releasing, you've got another form of release. If you put something else there in its place, then the focus isn't on that one thing. And that mm. could be a tool for, for many. It may be that you create your own gym, run around the garden if you have a garden. You do something to occupy your mind, that part of the brain that needs that stimulation. You stimulate it with other things. Um, um, so she's saying, um, now that's either true or they feel they can't be open about talking about it. I feel women nowadays are a lot more open about it. So yeah. Um, we're hearing, yes, some men do that, but the body will reject the, f reject the fluid at some point. Is that from you, Kellyon? Yes. Yeah, because you're, right. So, right, okay, so you're responding to Georgina. So, guys, you're right, Ruth, in terms of it is biological. It is biological. I think mm -hmm. I just didn't find the right word. Yeah. Um, it's a biological feeling. But what do we do? What do we do when we are in this situation? And I know what has been said about the word and all of that, but we are dealing with practical solutions this evening because there are a lot of people who are single, who are struggling right now, who are already at their wit's end. Some are in a marriage and are not having the ability to have that intimacy with their partners so what what can be done what is the solution and for those of us who are single on the long term because we're on the short term now on the long term what's the answer what is the answer for us you know this is so some some of you who are married and who are happily married may have some insight that we don't as single people. So I'm asking, I'm, I'm, I'm dumping this on um, some of you guys to, to, because this is not just about me giving answers or the panel giving answers. This is about us all coming together and helping each other because this is what this period is about. This is what this is about, us coming together, helping each other. Right, so guys, don't be quiet now. Come on, guys, I want you to. The thing about. is, yeah. the question that you're posing sounds more to like couples right about now. So it needs a couple's response. Like, are they afraid? Is there a fear? You, there's someone there. I, I can't really give an opinion on something that I'm not currently experiencing in this pandemic right now. But give your experience. What you're experiencing now. Well, that's right now, I take care of myself, you know, oh, that's how I do, that's how I roll, you know, um, there's a friend of mine, he's a sex coach, his name's Hero, and I've talked to him on several occasions and stuff, and one of the things he's always said to me is, Ruth, make sure you take care of yourself, 
especially as a coach, if you're there helping other people, working with other people, making your other people feel good and motivating them, inspiring them, the question is, to me, Ruth, what do you do to do help yourself? And as a person who's been single on her own for some time, you know, it's a case of, yeah, if I need to take care of me, I take care of me and very well and and, and yes, happy how? with it. But because how? It, it, how? Yeah, give, give some indication of how you, Ruth, take care of you. Because to say... Oh, oh, oh so if we're talking on a on a sexual level, I masturbate. That that's what I do. Not often, but as and when it's needed. Because sometimes I can go weeks and weeks busy doing stuff, and then I kind of feel, oh, you know, I feel a bit not centered or kind of thing. And then I have my moment, you know, my relationship with me, sort myself out in that respect and move on I'm, I'm cool but I have found that being single for quite a while while um, my sex drive has dropped a lot anyway so I don't have it as you know I wasn't the feelings that I used to have say like three years or so ago is not where I'm at now and I think because I'm getting older I'm reaching that stage in life and things are changing for me as a young woman absolutely thank you for your honesty i did have another question for do has your sex drive diminished even more since this covid19 do you think no it hasn't been long enough to to recognize if i'm honest okay. like i saw it myself out this week a couple of days ago okay. and prior to that could have been a couple of weeks prior it's like every two weeks or so okay cool thank you for your honesty we have another male in the zoom room hi patrick how you doing i'm just gonna unmute you say say hi to everybody patrick hello um patrick and um i'm married good i've been married for 37 years okay and um marriage life is brilliant good because because how it started is that um, we just basically, when I, when I met my wife, my parents wouldn't let me marry her until we found out what the family was like. Okay. So once, once um, and then they just married us off, basically. They fit the bill and married us off. That's 37 years ago. Okay, wow. Wow, so, well done. Congrats. Married life yeah. as a man is if the man puts it in, you know, if he helps, if he, if he, this did a, um, me and my wife has always had this thing, right? We can talk because I'm educating the West Indian men now to take their wife out for dinner, take their girlfriends out for dinner. Um, it's not about the food that's on the table, it's about them talking and so me and my wife always talk it doesn't matter what it's about we talk we go out for dinner we stay the night if we have to and we just and that's how we we work but my father he's still alive he lives in the west indies now it's something that he always did put mom out and and i followed that suit as well i take her out a lot i i basically i dress her i take her, if i'm gonna buy her a dress and now all her sizes, that's another thing. And now all her sizes, there's no size I don't know, right? So I can go out there, I buy her the best dress on the hanger. I don't care how much it costs. Nothing's too good for my wife. So I spoil her. And so my marriage life is fantastic. You know, we have a good time. We talk, we, we laugh a lot. Uh, we, it doesn't matter what we do. And I'm a carer. <laughs> I hear the sister say she's a carer. Well, I'm caring for my wife, but it doesn't stop nothing. We still laugh and joke and still get on good. So I think that the key to a relationship, really, because if you meet somebody for the first time, when I met her for the first time, yes, I met her at a dance. Okay. Basically, I went, I was invited to a dance. The, the thing is the, 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 um, the senior 
person I was working with, he was trying to hook me up with his daughter. But um, I fell in love with the, the girl's friend. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so, so I ended up going out with her. Right. One, one dance and she disappeared. But I never hanged about. I waited until she came back in the country. And then that was that. We just got married and, you know, things is good. But for the, for, as I said, for the single people out there, right, when your man or your lady comes along, you're going to know. Hmm. You're going to know that person. It's not, it's not a oh. thing that's going to... So, so I ended up going down, you know, a line of women or a line of men. No. When your man come along, you know that's your man. And he'll also know that as well. Okay. You know, you'll know that. Yeah. So, ladies, don't worry about it. Your man is round the corner. <laughs> your, your man's round the corner. He's on his way. You know, the, the <laughs> men are different now as well. The men are different. They're not like me. Debbie They're said different. it sounds like a song by, by um, I think it's Beris Hammond. She said that sounds like a song. <laughs> yeah, men are different. Because yeah. I opened the door for my lady. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the amount of times in that time we've been married, how many times she's actually opened that car door. I've opened that car door, she sits down, I drive. When she's driving, yeah. I buy the petrol and put in the car. Mm -hmm. She never argue about petrol because she, that car's always got petrol in it. Mm -hmm. you know? So That's what that. you're saying is, is that chivalry is not that you treat your wife how she's supposed to be treated, which yeah, is very like a queen. And it sounds good. Mm. Yeah, you look after her like a queen, she'll treat you like a queen, basically. Yeah. You look after your wife, she'll look after you. Absolutely. I, I believe that to be true. Yeah. But I also think now, because you were dating in a different time, a different yeah. era, and so the singles that we have on panel tonight, um, there's three of us, you and um, Anne are both married. Um, Kellyon is single as well as a male, but there's three single females and a single male. And I think that because we are, we are now in a different scenario. So we're talking about um, being in this lockdown situation. Uh -huh. How do we now, um, we are here, we're gonna be here for maybe 12 weeks. Yes. Realistically realistically it's going to be about 12 weeks right yes yeah. three months and so where we have had the freedom to go dating we're on dating sites we're doing this we're doing that we're actually meeting we're talking to people interacting we are you know we're having communication with with the opposite sex now things have changed so now yeah. we are in lockdown we are supposed to be in our homes we can, we're not supposed to go off and sneak and go and see people because we're supposed to be in our homes. Everything is, you go out to do the, the bare minimum, you go out to do your, your shopping, you come home. So this is, this is what we are down to. And according to the law now, because that has been something that's been passed through parliament, we have lost the right to go walkabouts. So now what we're asking is, how do we as single people cope with that? How oh, do boy. <laughs> I think what? it was me. I think it was Char. I think it was me. I don't know, but I'd have to be talking to her by the window, man. I've been, I've been calling her outside. and She'll look out the window. We'll have to talk out the window. We'd have uh -oh. to go to, I'd, have, I'd have to go to some desperate measures. So I'd have to go to the window. We'd have to, we'd have to we'd go to the park and we ride bike. She may be right, I may be right in front of her, and we talk that way. But somehow, somehow, man, I ain't letting her go. I ain't letting her go. Especially if I know, especially if I know that's my wife in the future. Like I hear some people um, are getting married and then they keep themselves, they save themselves. Mm. All that now. No, nah, man, I think I just hold up. Hey, I'll be at the window. Hi, girl, throwing flowers at her, you know? Do you because I can't help it, but I'm a romantic. Right. We're keeping this real now. This is real talk. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to the. We're gonna um, go to some of what's been said on on the feed. Um, Judah said, "Me and my missus sat down and talked to decided to use the time to get to know each other, be more affectionate to each other." So for me, I'm quite cool during this time. Okay, as a married person, thank you, Jude, for being so honest and open. That it, you know, during this time. 
they, they're coming together and, and they're getting to know each other again and spending more time together, romancing each other, which is really lovely. Um, and Georgina's saying a message for you, Patrick. Yes, Patrick, keep dating and putting that care and attention in. Um, Michelle Gale is saying, love this man. She love you, man. People love you. <laughs> but he's married anyway. <laughs> said, let me say to you, right, one, one thing, Yvonne. All the ladies love me. Mm -hmm. Because that's, they see uh, they see the way I care for my wife. Mm -hmm. I, I, I took I on our twenty fifth wedding anniversary. I took my wife to this church. We set we changed rings, you know, did the whole thing again and that. And then I went into a room with some people, and I said, um, I took out two paper at my pocket, right, and the paper was two two flights to Barcelona. Nice. Right? And my mm. wife said to me, next to me, she was next to me, and she said to me, she said to me in front of everybody, after I said my little speech, she said to me, so what am I going to do about clothes? What about my clothes? I said, girl, I got a stretch limousine outside, and in that limousine is a suitcase, and it's got all your clothes in it. I've got all your sizes. I've got everything in there. You don't have to worry about no clothes, girl. And, oh. and she was, they all, I hear some of the women in the room was jugging their man. <laughs> you don't act like that. <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is, we learn because that's that's me. That's me. That's not all the men there. Mm -hmm. That's me. And I, I just followed my father's footstep and I treat my mum. I treat my mum good and I treat my wife the same. Good. You know? And that, that's why. But yeah, I know what the real world is like, but ladies and gentlemen. You're single now. Don't worry about it. The lady and the man will come along. And sometimes, ladies, I, I just want to say this to, 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 to the ladies, right? Sometimes, ladies, a person that was your husband, you may be left him behind somewhere. So you might have to go back to see if that man is your man. Carol's not in her head. Why are you not in her head, Carol? <laughs> she left oh. She flinged enough man when one of them was her husband. <laughs> come on talk come on let's because, talk but now because i understand what he's coming where he's coming from i've had those thoughts about my past and who i was with before and how things went and all that sort of thing you know and it's like why just went do you know what i mean things changed or maybe maybe I was serious, but you know, I just wanted to see how things went because I'm that sort of a person. I want to be your friend as well as anything. It's just not all about sex and that. But once you get to know that person, um, I don't know. Things happen in between, and then it just. I don't know, it dwindles out, but yeah, I've had a, I've had a couple of regrets. I've had a couple of regrets. That's interesting. That's, mm. that's another conversation. That's yeah, that is. A conversation. <laughs> because, young lady, you, you say that, you know, if I never married this lady, mm -hmm. I might have been married already because my father thinks it's such a good idea to have a line of them, people that had good homes. It's not always about that, you know? Yeah. You know, love, you know what they say? Love is blind and marriage is a high opener. <laughs> oh. And you agree with that? Well, I, I, I grew to, I knew the lady, mm -hmm. I knew her, and I knew her good. And okay. we, we be, as I said, we're, we're, we're running, we're, we're coming up to maybe 60 now. Coming up to our maybe not long before we'd be 60 years old. And mm -hmm. we, we're still laughing at each other. She still give me joke. Okay. And sometimes I ask her, I said, she always says to me, she loves me. Every morning I get up, she said, where are we going? I said, I'm going to work. She said, you have to go. <laughs> so, oh, so, so, so now we've got lockdown. Guess what? I'm the lucky guy. I don't know about nobody else. I really <laughs> want to go back to work. <laughs> that is so nice. That is so nice. And it's so refreshing to hear that mm. from a male perspective. It really is. And giving hope to those of us who are single, um, you know, as Patrick is saying, you know, that the, the one is coming around the corner. 
when he's not going to be coming for the next 12 weeks, is he really? He's going to be in his yard. <laughs> That's where he's going to be. So is is dating, is is this the way forward? And 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 how do we, and is, is like we were talking before about masturbation, is masturbation the way forward to, to help us to relieve ourselves of, of this, this kind of pent up feelings that we have? Is that the way forward? What do we do as single people trying to get through this time? Because it, you know, isolation is um, not designed for human beings. Human beings were not designed to be isolated. It is not good for any human being to be alone. And loneliness is a massive thing. It's a massive killer, actually. A lot of people, there are many, many people who have taken their own lives because they're lonely. And I, I know that I'm kind of like connecting it with sex because we know that sex is sex and we can put sex here in a box, but there are bigger, wider feelings other than sex. There are other things like loneliness and companionship and all of these things that we as single people are dealing with. And it is that, that, that feeling of having somebody because as much as you may, you might be a single person and you may have a house full of children, that is not gonna stop you from feeling lonely. That is not gonna stop you from feeling that you want a companion to talk to, to nurture, to, to, to touch, to feel, to, to have that conversation like you were talking about, Patrick, that you have with your wife. So now we are in the early stages of this, this COVID-19 scenario. How can we prepare those who are single to go through all of these weeks of being alone? And this is what this is the crux of of the conversation because we can skim over it and we can talk about yeah, sex is a thing because sex is something that pulls everybody together because at the end of the day most people want to have it right if we're, whether you're single whether you're, you're married you know whether whatever you at some stage you are going to want to have sex right or you've had it and then you haven't it wasn't great and so you say I don't want it anymore whatever the situation is right but at the end of the day, when we when we pull the, the curtain back and we look at it and we look at, you know, what what are the real issues? It is loneliness, it is companionship. How do we as the singles now who are in our homes in lockdown, abiding by the law that tells us that we have to stay in our yard? How are we going to cope and how are we going to move forward? In this, in this 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 week period of time. Yeah, and that is the thing. So I want you to think about that. I'm gonna read out some of the um, feed uh, that we've got. And I know that guys on Facebook, you're having your own conversation, which is great. Um, mm -hmm. Debbie says, a happy wife is a happy life. Bless up, Patrick. That's what she said. We've got lots of people in this, um, the Facebook. Um, um, a, a Jude says, uh, uh, I don't know if I agree with that. Is, is that to that statement though, Jude? And then Debbie says, actually thinking about what I said, you're right. A lot of couples work a lot and away from each other and don't get to spend any real time catching up. This lockdown situation could be a good for some people Mm -hmm. to get back to knowing their partners again we take each other for granted without realizing sometimes so bless up right so that's another thing for those who are in any relationship so if you have a partner that you don't live with and you see each other that could be a good thing for you guys and maybe you're having lots of conversations on facetime maybe you're having phone sex i don't know what what it is in terms of the intimacy maybe you're talking more about what you're going through your feelings your emotion mm -hmm. and all that. and it's coming from both perspectives so that's pulling you closer together what 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 are we going to do guys where how do we how do we move forward from here and i want some interaction from some of the ladies just of what your thoughts are from what we've been discussing, what Patrick has been saying. What are your thoughts? All right, I'm going to say um, emotional connection is, is a really good part of the relationship, which is something that can be worked on through this period of time. So 
in respect to myself, um, it's something that I very much enjoy in a relationship, the talking, the getting to know each other, the laughing, finding similar interests and things like that through conversation. I like to talk. Um, and, you know, sometimes um, when you're skilled at talking, using other things like, as we do NLP, you can get to learn a lot about somebody through conversation. So for me, I do like having that those times of conversating and getting to know each other. And it, it's just about time, isn't it? There's no rush. Everyone's got their own timeline. Um, you do it as and when you feel more comfortable to, to engage. Because really, ultimately, you're sharing a part of yourself with someone and vice versa. So that's my two penny pieces. Thank you, Ruth. Any of the other ladies want to come in? Or Kelly, on, do you want to come in at all? Hold on, hold on. There you go. Yeah, so, so what's the question again? I was saying, is it, do you want to interject on what Patrick was saying? Anything of what any of the, the guys on the feed have said or what Patrick said, do you want to, you know, put any of your thoughts in to what has been said? Well, um, specifically on, is it, is it, is it named Jude, Jude Linton? Yeah, Jude, yeah. Jude's yeah, um, he, he seems to disagree or have an opinion on how biology works. So we've actually explained how it works with men that after a certain point, uh, a man's going to have to release. So that would be in a form of a wet dream or it's manually done. Mm. Um, so he's basically said that he, he's not too sure if that's well, he, he he thinks differently now there's some things that can be an opinion so for instance i could say oh women are awful another guy could say no i think they're beautiful their opinions but facts like your body's going to reject the sperm after a month or however long it is that's a fact so mm -hmm. I, I think i think we need to be very clear and cut point that if we're going to bring any kind of assertion, as it has done actually, has that, that has happened, especially in the start of, of the conversation in terms of the word medical or clinical or, bio, mm. or biological, these are facts. So that you may have to go away and actually read up um, on how the body works. So when people say masturbation, okay, some men or some women may at that time feel horny. Okay, and that's a biological issue not a religious one, mm. not one of, um, oh, I'm a believer and I don't do this. Please, let's not, let's not do this holy, holy nonsense. Yeah? <laughs> Come on. The body, this is how the body works. Yeah. So after a period of time, as a man, your body says, I need to release this. You're, so you're, you're having a conversation with your brain and realize that your body, especially Mr. Man, is saying to you, here I am, okay? And it's either you deal with the case or you go to sleep and it will do it for you. That's facts, unless anybody else can come back and show me something else, okay? So that's what I wanted to do. Uh, I loved what, Patrick, I think you're awesome. I think you're a beautiful mm -hmm. man. I don't use the word beautiful with men, by the way, so take that as an honor. Right, you've got a beautiful heart. I've, I've heard what you've had to say and I've taken notes. Okay, All right. Where's he gone? Oh, I think he's still there. I think he's still there. Yeah. Okay, he can yeah. hear us, but I think he's just I, come on camera. I think yeah, you'll Patrick, give it back to you, Patrick, because you've got a lot to give to this. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick, I've taken notes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, um, that's what I wanted to say concerning that. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, there he's got his back. It is green and white hat. I love the hat, by the way, Patrick. The hat, the hat is saying it. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. Yeah, say again, Patrick. Yeah. Oh, how comes he's not on mute? Hold on. On mute. Let me see. Oh, have you muted yourself, Patrick? You might have to unmute yourself. There you go. You're. Yeah. Can I? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. All right, so yes, as, as you, yes, you agree on white hat. I love it, I like it. Yeah, love it's, it. it's, it's Patrick's sign, you know? it's a paddy. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. It's Irish. It's Irish. Yeah. yeah a, lady, Irish. A, a, a lady made it for me. Oh, that's nice. With a little pom pom on it. Look. Yeah, I can see. We can <coughs> all see everyone on Facebook. <laughs> everyone can see. It. Everyone can see. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you for joining me. We are talking about relationships. We are talking about different elements, especially for those who are single, who may be struggling right now um, in this time of lockdown um, because they can't see the ones that they love or have been having relations with, or or maybe you haven't, and maybe you're just like me just had this moment of madness and thought well what if it is this what if this is it what am i going to do am i going to stay like this as a single woman for for eternity i don't think so no i think i have options i think so <laughs> debbie's making me laugh she said oh my god i thought he said pum pum on on the top of <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 but this is real talk, guys. This <laughs> and George, Georgina say glad it just wasn't, it wasn't just her that thought that as well. <laughs> Patrick, you have to I don't know. <laughs> Listen, and you're single. <laughs> <laughs> mostly, mostly everybody. How many people are single? Can you, if you're single, can you um, give a thumbs up so we can count up how many single people are actually on um, the feed? If you're married, if you give two thumbs up. If you're single, do one. So we can just see how many of how many singles we have in here. I think there's quite a lot of single people here. So, so maybe if if we can get some more single men on here, maybe we can start to you know, mm. to talk to each other. And maybe there, there are, is something that we can create from this. Like well, I, said, I think if you want to start a business, a, a dating app is a good business to start right now. Well, the thing is, the real truth of the matter is, if I was single mm -hmm. and I just came on this now and I saw that lady there in the green, mm -hmm. the one, the, there's a lady there, I'm, yeah. I'm sure that's a green top she's wearing yeah, with some painting, look like a painting in the background. Yes. And she's smiling all the time. Yes, I want to date her. Well, come on now. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, so if the single men there, they must can look, you know, you loads of time people are going to single do's. Even mm -hmm. in church, they go to single, they have single groups and they go to watch a film, a movie. Right? And you would it's kind of silly because in those sing in those singles, you've got single women and single men. Why can't they just all come together? Well, because I tell you why they don't come together is because it's it's saturated by single women, and there are like maybe two two single men to every fifteen thousand women single women. <laughs> Sounds like Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Tinder. Does anybody else do Tinder mm -hmm. here? Never heard of it. No. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> yeah. Right, That's so rich. we've got Shlomi. Shlomi said, for women, it's different. It's more of a mind over matter. For men, release is a must. Women can go for years without sex or masturbation. Do we agree with that? Yeah, but yeah. I don't you know. <laughs> I suppose women can go longer. I think women, I think women go longer, yeah? Mm. Think women can go yeah, longer. Yeah, I do. Mm. Because I think in terms of that, that biological thing, I, I don't know if we ex women experience it like, like men. I don't think we do. No. I think we have other issues, but I think that, that biological chemical thing that goes on when a man will have a wet dream, I don't think women really experience it like, like men. No, not on the same level. No. So I think, <laughs> I think there is a difference. Like cats. <laughs> <laughs> right so right so yeah so a lot of people are agreeing with you Shalomi thank you for your for your comment guys keep your comments coming as we are talking more about relationship we are talking more about how we move forward with it guys remember that this is we're like 10 days in we are 10 days into this lockdown 
My styrofoam. See, that, that, well, that's a truth. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, you know. I just pop out, get a bottle of milk and some cheese and some bread, and then I'm in the house by six o'clock in the morning. We're not wasting no time. By six o'clock in the morning, you know, he said he's back yeah. in the house. So, what yeah. about so how much hours was he out? Well, well, today I can't. I can't, I never left the house today. Okay. I never left the house at all today. And for the last couple of days, I just went outside. I've got a van and I just start up the van, mm -hmm. make sure it's ticking over mm -hmm. and then go back in the house. Okay. Feed the cat, because you've got to feed the cat. Yeah. you got to feed the cat. And the cats are not out, they're indoors. Okay. They're, in, they're on lockdown too. So the cats. Do you know, I never even thought about that. You know? <laughs> yeah, the cats are on lockdown too. They're not, they're not yeah. going nowhere. They're staying in the house. Right. They go, so they go out to the toilet and then they come back. What about those cats that are not house cats? What happened to them? Them stay outside. Are they on lockdown? Well, I went, I went to the, no, nah, I don't think so. Not all of them because I went out the other day and I saw a cat sitting on my doorstep. It weren't my cat, but he, he just liked the door. He just liked the, um, he likes the mat. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, going back to what we were saying before, Debbie's saying she thinks that procreation thing, the procreation thing is stronger in men than women as they are the hunters. So th this could be the real reason why men are having, you know, they're using Hannah and her five friends more regularly than <laughs> we as females. <laughs> <laughs> me like that lady, you know. She'd have to give me her number later. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick. Good to laugh. Oh, good, to laugh. <laughs> good to laugh, man. See, all the pressures of life have it's just, good come to off, laugh. just come off you, sister. It is. Mm -hmm. it's good yeah, to laugh. You're laughing and, and you're mm. crying too. I see you have tissue. No, I'm not crying. I'm just no, no. Nah. You, you, sometimes you got to wipe the cool out of your eye, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so that guys on Facebook are crying up. They're laughing. <laughs> I, I love, I love to laugh. Anyway, I love, love to yeah, yeah, laugh. Me laugh. Me laugh. Me laugh. Me hit fat guy too. <laughs> <laughs> You're crying. Right. That's what it's about. You see, there's a thing about it. We as West Indian people don't laugh enough and we don't talk. Yeah, that's no. Now look at us. Yeah. In it's a lockdown for us to talk. It's true. <laughs> because, and I will say this, I've been running conversations with Yvonne Michelle for a little while now. And I think that this is probably, we're having more engagement in conversation now. People are actually making time to mm. conversate, be a part of things now more than ever. And maybe it might be because we don't have to go to work, <laughs> per se. Yeah. yeah. I think it is important that we do communicate because this is how we are going to get strong. This is how we are going to move forward because there's lots of things going on right now. There's mm. lots of conversations that mm. I am hearing. And, you know, yes, we're talking about relationship but I, I have to, to mention all the things that are going on while we are in lockdown. I yeah. want those of you who are listening to be alert. Be alert. Don't just sit in your house and think, oh, well, the world's just, don't let the world just pass you by. Look at what's going on. That's and right. Make sure you know and be a part. Be a part of it. Don't get swept in and sucked into what you hear on the media either. I'm just saying, hello. Mm. You know, not everything yeah. you see on the media true is thing. true. True thing. It's a true thing. So it these is. conversations that we are having, yes, we're having these conversations about relationship, but we are also building relationship with each other. Right? I, I've not had this kind of conversation with Patrick or Kelly on like this before. We've spoken, we may have said hi, blah, 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 but not this kind of in-depth conversation. And this is what needs to happen. This is just the doorway opening for us to talk more. 
on other subjects that are going on that are affecting our lives. Relationships affect us. Relationships, the lack of relationship affects. I'm a single woman. I'm in mean, the I'm a fierce. You know, I go out and I do what I do. And now I'm, stuck, now I'm stuck indoors. <laughs> And, and, and let me just say this, I don't know if any of you ladies are having the same scenario happen, but my Facebook page, I have got so many men who have given me friend requests lately, especially in this lockdown, lockdown. <laughs> especially in this lockdown season. And I'm a little bit scared, if I'm honest, should I, should I befriend them? They might have... Some don't have any friends. They're not connected to any friends. And some do. Should I say, okay, let me just be friends with all of them and see what happens. Huh? To what? <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see, I know you. I haven't, I, I've, I've, I haven't, the only time I've seen you on Facebook, you always seem to be going somewhere, traveling somewhere, enjoying yourself. If you're not going London with your friends, or you're always enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. So there's got to be a man out there seeing you chilling out like that and like you. Mm -hmm. So I'm surprised that you said you're single. I'm surprised. A, a, a lot of men say that to me. Th that's a thing. And I think that a lot of women here, especially on this group, I think a lot of women can relate to that. People yeah, but... have this assumption that, that I am in a relationship and I'm not. No. I'm living. And that's why you see me going and doing stuff. So because I am enjoying life. I'm doing my stuff. Yeah, I'm not sitting down waiting on anybody to knock my front door because he hasn't knocked yet. So I've got, I've got, I've got a kid brother that's single, right? Mm -hmm. And he likes, he loves life. He does. Does he? He just, he just loves fast cars and you know, he just, pretty boy, you know. That, that's oh. what. But, but if that's his life, yeah. So be it, you know. If mm -hmm. if he needs help, he knows who to come to. I'm yeah. the expert. <laughs> so he knows who to come to. But at the end of the day, I still say that, um, it's, I know it's gonna be hard now for the singles, for the lockdown, I know it's gonna be hard, but they've just got to endure what's happening because it's life for now. But it doesn't stop them from Googling their friend and talking to their friend. I mean, I've got people, I know a lot of people and people ringing me today on FaceTime, talking to me that I haven't seen for like 20 years. Right. You know, they've got time to talk now. And what they're talking about, relationship as well. And I'm encouraging them. You know, at the end of the day, um, we just have to, uh, if I was single, I wouldn't have been single after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if I was single, I wouldn't be single after tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That is so funny, and it's nice. Mm. And it's because nice. It's you all, know, I, I think you have, to have some fun. You know, you do. it's not you all do. about sex. You've got to have some fun in life. You've got mm. to travel and go to different islands, different countries, enjoy what they've got as well. Mm. You know. But the worst thing about this lockdown is you can't go nowhere. You can't go on holiday. You can't. If you go to the park and they see you twice, they want to book you. Police want to hold you down. If you got it, if they see you twice in the park on one day, they want to yam you for it. Okay. You know, you, you know, you're when it's a lockdown, it's like you're in a prison. Yeah. Because in you prison are. they're locked down. That's right. And they're stuck in one room or one one part, and they go out and they exercise, and then they, you know, it's like we're in prison. Yeah. In our own house, you're yes. actually a prisoner in your own house. That's unreal. So people, really, you need to go out, talk, to, I mean, do your exercises, speak to your friend, whoever the person is, speak to them, and, and just be nice until this thing over. When it's over, you're going to have a good time. Okay, so, because you've just said that, it's made me think. So, the, for those who are single, listen to me, I'm going to just, I'm going to talk it out. It might not make sense, but it will make sense in the end, all right? Because I'm a talker, I talk out things and then I put things together. So if you are single and you are looking for companionship, you can spend a, an amount of time online talking, getting to know, get on the phone, talk, do the FaceTime talk, 
and then right. essentially you can go to the park mm -hmm. and talk. So you can say, right, I'm gonna go out to the park because this is weeks down the this is weeks down the road, right? So this is a solution. So you're gonna go to the park some weeks after you're going to keep the social distancing however far apart it is and you're going to have a conversation there's not going to be any touchy feely stuff going on but you're going to actually see each other be in the same space seeing sure. the same airspace talking as and then you're going to go away again and then you're going to go home you're going to talk some more and actually this might just be the best time right. to find your partner and i tell you why because there's no rush because one of the things that i know is as a single female dating kelly on you can come in and tell from a male point of view that is that when you're dating i i feel that there's this rush to to, to for the sex thing there's this rush to to meet there's this rush to kiss there's this rush it's all rush 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 but in this way now you know, you know, like some women, like Steve Harvey says, you've got the 90 day rule after 90 days, right? You make a man wait for <laughs> Steve Harvey says 90 days, yeah? But now, because we have this lockdown period, there can be none of the, the, the shenanigans going on, really, because you don't know if that person is a carrier or not. That's right. But he can be fine and, and have this so called thing. And, and not have any symptoms. So mm. if you do this over this period of time, if you start dating now, and if you know, if we can get a dating site up and running in the next couple of weeks and the next couple of days, we could create a fortune. But uh, besides that, <laughs> if, if you did it that way, then we could all be single people. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a businesswoman. I'm about business. This is me. This is how my brain works. So if if we are then, we are then have this time, this moment to meet somebody, talk to them, get to know, use our skills in our communication, get to know who they are. This could be great. This could be an advantage, actually. Mm. I mean, Kelly, on come in and tell me from your perspective, when you meet people on the dating site, how keen are they how, from a male perspective? Because I know from female perspective, the males always seem to they just want to be on it, on it, on it, on it, and it's off putting. That is off putting. I'm just going to say it's very true. Um, a lot of the men do let the side down of the of the guys that are good. There's some good guys out there, and thankfully, I do get into some good conversations with some of the women that do tell me what the guys are doing. So um, if they're able to, some apps are, are you're, you're, you're able to send through pictures and they'll be sending pictures of their private parts. Oh, uh, women yeah. just just not interested in that, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, if that's sometimes you can highlight on their profile, something about their profile. So it, it could be their picture. I tend to highlight on what they've said. So they could say something like, oh, my food language is love or my food language is food which is not really a language, but you know, I don't, some people don't know what the five languages of love is, so they'll just say anything. So they'll say food. And then, and then I would say, oh, I see that obviously you like to eat. So what type of foods do you like to eat, especially when you go to the restaurant? So I'm now asking more about them. So I'm now having a conversation with them. Mm. So it, so which I'm now engaging with their, with their needs, their interests, their emotions, opposed to, you look beautiful. You have a lovely smile. Oh my gosh, you look fine, girl. You look hot. They've been hearing that like all their lives. So I would try to engage with their intellect. So then I then get to have a, a conversation. Now the thing is this, is that yes, it is the men, as I think Deborah said on the, for, on the feed, we are the hunters. Things have changed a bit though these days because women are actually now hunting men. Yeah, that is happening right it's 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 anybody's game now right the way i think going on but men in our nature that's what we do and then obviously because women have so much men flying at them i mean a lot of times it's overwhelming for them they have so many men contacting them it just says, takes one or two that knows how to engage uh, with that person because obviously each woman's different so you have to see what makes them tick 
So I will read, I, I make a note of reading their profile. Some of them may like me or I, I might like them and I read their profile and then I will then engage with what I see interests them and I'll talk to them, right? What I'm saying, as I said to you before, it now it seems a lot easier to talk to women because there is a need and the need for women is, obviously you can, we can have a, a debate on this, we'll talk about this, it's attention. Women feed on attention. So if that attention is no longer there, like for instance, walking down the road, women can't do that. Going to the workplace, women can't do that. Going to the shop, women can't do that. So they're not having the men that, that you that would give them that attention, that energy, because the energy is not coming their way anymore. They now need to go and get this energy. And that's now, let's say on dating apps. So they're now chasing me now for this energy um, love that they want. So me giving that attention and talking to them, that's what they're feeding on. Anything else after that? Yeah, some women do want sexual interaction. They do want physical touch, which is obviously one of the five languages of love is touch. Some women are very blunt in saying, hey, I, need, I need that touch in my life, you know? And how is that, which is a question really, how are we gonna deal with that? From a woman's point of view, I don't know. Okay, but I know for sure that women that would want to have that attention, that would definitely, I think Yvonne, you're onto something. Dating apps would be the way forward to making a lot of money now. You actually, <laughs> in terms of products, yeah. for a product, the dating app is going to make you a lot of money if you were to do that. I think, I think you need to, to jump on it. I think it's the way forward, I do. I really, really do. I, I just want to come into something some that you said in my head you said something about oh it's gone it might come back okay you did say something that i thought oh that's good that's a bit juicy that is but um yeah it'll come back okay. anyone else anyone else want to jump in yes come on Anne. um something he's just said about um women wanting attention i would ask is, is that all women I I would argue whether you're married or not, not all women want attention. Can you come back on that? Yeah, I think oh, so you talked to me? I think that was you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. So the last question. Okay. Um, the, the, the thing with language, obviously, how it's spoken, Okay. Um, when I say women, I don't mean all women. Um, so let me, because it can be kind of debatable on how we speak. Some yeah. women, or majority women, however you want to put it, want attention. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's there are obviously exceptions. Like for mm -hmm. instance, um, there are women, men are hunters, but not all men are. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So some men are actually quite shy, and some women actually would approach the men before the men actually approach them. So you're going to have exceptions to the rule. Like, for instance, some men are very good cooks or chefs. Mm -hmm. In actual fact, some of the best chefs in the world are men. Okay, so when you think of cooking, I tend to really think of women because that, that's, that's the way I see it, you know. But then I watch MasterChef, for instance, and I see a lot of men and, and actually winning. Women as well, you know. So some things are general, some things are exceptions. So I'm saying from a point of view that you know, a, a woman loves to be um, complimented. Yeah, women I've actually have spoken to, I say something nice to them and it's, you can see that they've taken it on board and not all women do. Some women it's like, you've actually offended them, <laughs> you know? So, you know, so it's, it's, it's a general thing, but then you might find a section, you know? So sorry, just so I can change my right. format of speaking there. Some women- My husband was a chef. Oh, <laughs> yes, sorry. my husband was a chef. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I, I hope I answered the question. Yes, thank you. And the, the other thing, um, when Patrick was speaking, um, what I found interesting when he said that um, for some women, they may have, in past relationships, they may have let go the future. Um, I tend to agree with that in some ways because um, personally speaking, 
my husband and I knew each other since we were 11. And I was a real tomboy as a young person. And we did everything together. We went everywhere together till I was about 16 and a half. I left the town. He went to another town. And I had a relationship. He had relationships. And after about 20 years, 50, 20 years, we met up again. And we have been together 35 years, 30 years, or 35 years. Well, we've been married for 25 years. Though it does happen. We've been married 25 years this year. So it does, it, it does happen. It could be that somebody in your past was the right one, but situations happen, you know? And the other thing about um, relationships and marriage and sex, um, my husband had a stroke four years ago and sex has not been an issue with us. Um, I have not been wanting sex. We have never, in the four years, because of his stroke, and I'm quite happy because on the medical side, my concern is him getting better from where he was when he had the stroke. So you could, you could be in a marriage, you could be in a relationship and obstacles get in the way where sex is not the most important thing, you know? Thank you for that. It's really humbling actually to hear that um, in terms of, you know, where, where you are in your journey. Uh, and I thank you for sharing that because I think as single people, sometimes our focus is, oh, we want, we want that, we want the companionship, we want the sex, we want all of that. But, you know, and that's at the beginning of the relationship, but then as the relationship goes through its journey, things can change. And so the, the, the focus of the relationship has to be more than mm -hmm. sex otherwise it's, it's, it's just not gonna work is it really um so thank you and for sharing that it's really really um i really felt that and so i really appreciate your honesty for sharing that with us um today um and i think that some really good points have been raised um in in this conversation we i think many topics from this can come from this conversation that we're having today um, uh, on the feed, we've got, um, oh, that was Carol saying, we need to date and talk, not just jump straight into sex. Um, Georgina Scott has said, Yvonne is a strong, independent woman and beautiful inside and out, and it can intimidate some men, um, especially women who aren't afraid to speak their minds. In life, you can't just bring sex to the table, even though that's the subject, it's a bonus and should be seen as a bonus. Um, and she said, um, emotional needs before sexual needs and she's got hand clapping as well. And we've got people who's um, uh, agreeing and agreeing with what's been said um, in this conversation. I think that, I think that, you know, the way in which things are now, those of us who are single, I think that you know, this is the time for self-reflection. I think this is the time for us to really build ourselves, um, how we feel about ourselves emotionally, mentally, physically, um, and all the alleys. I think we need to really connect with who we are as individuals. And then from there, once we have that self-connection and that self-love, that we can then start to talk to talk to um members of the others the opposite sex now and that goes for men and women to build on themselves and so one of the things i'm going to say and I, I do hope that you know um we do need to love ourselves completely and get to know ourselves but one of the things i'm going to say is this for the men who are listening for the single men who are listening who who may see a woman that they like they may be on this panel they may not be on this panel but what i am going to say to them is when you approach a woman try and find out who she is try and get to know her mind try and 
you know, really know what she likes. As Patrick has said, and as, as Kellyon has said, one of the things that Kellyon said that, that, that uh, made me kind of like my ears prick up was the fact that he said that when he does go on the dating sites, he actually reads their profile. Because from my perspective, not many men do. So they'll start asking questions and it'll be like, did you not read the profile? And so from there, it's like, you're not actually interested in getting to know me. You just like what you see, mm -hmm. you know, because we know that, de de well, or how I feel about dating sites, it's just that it's like a, a win you're window shopping, you're, you're flicking to the left, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, whatever side, but you're looking in at these windows and then you, you're not actually paying attention to who you're looking at. And so then it comes back to you again, Kelly, on when you say that women want, um, they, they, what was it you said? You said that women want to be, uh, they, they like attention. We like attention. Those of us who are on, on dating sites, we do want attention because we want to be seen. That's why we're there but we want the right attention. So when you meet, a, when you are kind of like approached by a man on a dating site and he's just like, you know, very superficial, he hasn't read your profile. It's like, next, that's where I'm at. Next, 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 because I'm looking for something specific. And I think we get to a certain age now as women, I don't know for anyone else, I think we get to a certain age where we actually want more than mm -hmm. something to just say, you know, yeah, you look nice. We want mm -hmm. actually someone to pay that attention, not necessarily give us the attention, but pay attention to what we're about, what we've written. So for those who are um, watching this, who watch this through to the end and, and they are looking for relationships, that's my number one tip you know, actually look yeah. at who who you want to be with. If you see somebody on a dating site, look at, and, and see what they've written and then talk to them based on what they've written, not based on what they look like. Also, can I add that yeah. in some of these apps, um, there are criteria that you've got to fill in. And I have found that some men haven't completed it. So it's X. Because if I go through your profile, you know, because it always starts with a picture now, then it's got some information, maybe another picture, some more of them. If they have not filled in that profile, it's an X. Oops, oh, sorry. My battery is going low. Um, I just click X. It's just automatic X because there's nothing for me to go on. I can't just look at your picture and think, oh, yeah, he's all right. I need the information about like different things that you say your interests and stuff like that. If it's not there, I've got nothing to go on. And you could possibly be a really good catch or someone that I would like, but it's an X, next, 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 next. And there's loads. So for me, I can't go on face value alone because it's not enough. I need some information uh, about w what you like or what you do or some hobbies or some interest or something because I want to have a conversation with you. Um, you know, there's loads of different types of dating sites and I'm actually on a dating site to date, not a sex site, you know. Mm -hmm. If it was just about that, that's a different thing, you know, but that's not what I'm on. I want to know who you are, what you're about, and what your interests are because when you meet up and talk it's like you're having to go through some of these things all over again when you could have just put that up there you know having into oh we've got great sense of humor but there's more to life than the great sense of humor you know so i think what i'm saying is a little bit more depth would be a little bit appreciated um and and it could be an age thing maybe if i was in my 20s and my 30s <clears throat> I might not have cared so much, but I'm not there. So um, some information, single guys, and this is not like UK, I'm just saying it to general is really key because you, you might be looking for someone who is intellectual, but the intellectual person is going to look at a few little words. She actually wants some substance, some information to go on. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. Guys, you want to come in? Patrick, you look like you're up. You have something to say. 
Hold on. So how do you know? I, I'm not in this dating thing, this dating site thing. That's not. If I was, if I was single, mm-hmm. I'll find a woman outside. As soon as you see that dimple, hey, come on, she'll be falling over me. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't. How do you know that's the person that's on the, on the um, the people, the person that's in front of you? How do you know that is that's a true picture of the person? How do you know that? You don't. You don't. But when you see them. So how can you date somebody if you don't know that's a true person? Then how do you? Because the thing is that the site, you start off on the site and then you may switch over to say a number, email, whatever. And at okay. some point, you know, before you meet up, you would have seen the person. You know, some people do this thing, catfishing, where the picture they got up is like 30 years old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and stuff like that. So when you do see them, it's like, oh. You know what happened? (laughs) 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 But the hope is for transparency. That's what you're looking for. But clearly, there's some people don't don't appreciate themselves. They don't see the beauty in their own selves, and are looking at the past when they may have had the six pack or the size eight or whatever. You know, it's good to present yourself as you are now, like a picture within the last week or last month recent, so that when they see you, it's like, oh, yeah, that is the person that I saw. Mm. The only thing sometimes you can't convey, and the good thing about some of these apps, you can put videos up. So you, you get to see some energy of that person, some personality. Like some people that have put videos, I've commented on like what particular music do do they like depending on what kind of video if they put a dancing video in it you can have a conversation mm. and Ruth you sound like a professional I'm and a professional woman yes and you're and you're and you're very nice you look very nice I see you you look very Thanks. you look very nice lady don't worry Thank about you. it lady the man will come you don't have to worry he'll soon yeah. come after he this will. after this problem that we have now Things are going to be better. Things are going to be different. Mm. People are going to see life different, especially the men. They're going to see mm. life different. At the moment, some men out there doing silly things, but soon they'll see things different and they'll appreciate a lady. When they see a lady, they appreciate them. And that's what it is about so many men. They don't appreciate women and they think this thing is just a joke and it isn't. Because Do you know what, every- Patrick? I-, I want to say to you, I want to thank your dad. You know, because your dad has clearly given you a really good model to to shape yourself, your personality, your character after, you know. And people like you need to help some other young men who haven't had the fortunate of having their fathers Mm. in their lives. And some of these are some of the things that I have found, you know, can be a challenge because some men, you know, are looking for a father, like they yeah. want that father figure, but then they come to you like your mummy, like yeah. you're gonna hold them down and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm lost <laughs> when it comes to that because I'm like, are you for real? But <laughs> they haven't had the same opportunities as others yes. have, and I just want to applaud your father. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you know, some things, some things that have happened to me where I found myself. Um, I've, when I when I because I'm a church goer, so I go to church. And when I found that there's a young man there in the church that that um, he hasn't got a dad, I've taken his place. I've taken that guy's dad's place. Nice. So what I've done is take him to take him shopping, not inexpensive. I've got to find um, uh, a wedding a wedding jacket or something for him to or shoes or something. So mm. I buy the shoes and then I. I take him shopping. I take him for we, we go out for uh, a dinner, mm-hmm. and we talk. We talk about we talk about. I talk to him about married life, basically, right. and I put him in a place where he should be, so he knows what to expect from his wife. And you know, and um, so I I encourage a lot of the young men before Good. they get married, right. before they get, before they get married. 
That's your, this is your legacy, your dad's legacy. Write a book down. Yeah. Down and it's it's so that people can, these men can read, read this book after you've gone. You know, I, I had a conversation with, with one of my male friends today and I told him if he had written the book that I told him to write about 12, 13, maybe 15 years ago, probably about 18 years ago, I said he would be as popular as Stephen Harvey now because the skills that he has as a man, he's a married man, he's a good friend of mine, but the skills that he has, I'm saying you need to get that down on paper because the younger men coming up don't have those skills and there isn't anyone no. that. So, you know, I'm going to say to you, see, I'm all about the business, write a book. It's funny you say that because you don't, you don't really know who I am I don't. really yet. I, I won't tell everybody who I am, but there's something special about me. Well, anyway, the <laughs> there's something special about me. You yeah. might not know. You, you haven't seen me before. That's the first time you've seen me on, on social media talking like this. Mm. I'm a special guy. I'm a special guy around the, the, the country. People, people soon know who I am, right? But um, I've got a, a lady that she she does journalism, mm -hmm. and. She's gonna write a book. We're gonna. I'm gonna write a book. Oh, good. So that is one thing that I'm. I'm gonna do. Write a book because, and the reason for that is, it's about my life, really, yeah. from where I'm coming from, mm. from from where I'm coming from. That's what the book's about. But there's there's men out there, young men, as I said, out there that haven't. You know, it's not just getting married, and having few kids. That's not what it's about. Yeah. You've got to. You've got to talk to your wife. I, I've taken this guy, I've, his wedding present, so I hope you ain't listening to me today, his wedding present was um, afternoon tea at the Luton Who. Ladies, remember, you heard that name, Luton Who. Yes, I've been there before. Afternoon tea at Luton Who, that was his wedding present. And the reason why I gave him that for his wedding present is that sometime along in your married life, when you first start out, you don't have any money, you've run out of money, or you know, you don't know where you're gonna heat next or yeah. what you're gonna have. So what these couple did, they took the voucher and went to Luton Who and have dinner. Nice. And talk. And that's the key. So they went to Luton Who, walked around the garden, talked, went swimming, chilled out. That was the key to their marriage. And now they've got a little boy and having a good life. Good. But but it's about it's about um sometime you can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not affordable. Some people can't afford that sort of luxury. Go some but you can go to the park and talk. But you know, because we're in lockdown now, it's kind of it sounds like it's impossible, but it isn't. Mm. It isn't impossible because as soon as you meet somebody, you're gonna be talking to them and they'll have to wait. That person, yeah. if he really loves you and, and he likes to look at you and you're and what your profile is and everything, he's got to wait nine months. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. But you'll know that if he waits, he, me he means it. Yeah. Because yeah. if he don't wait, then he just said, cha, cha, we have waited this woman, I mean, that, I mean, that hanging around, he never meant anyway. Yes. You know? But yes. if he waits for nine months, then yes. And it goes for the young man Kayla as well. That goes for him as well. The woman that he's gonna meet, he could talk to her and whatever. But if she's not hanging around and wait for him over this period, that's not the woman. I, I think that Kelly will find somebody. I think you're gonna find someone quite quickly, actually. Mm. Because because a good a good looking boy that you know, a young boy, a good looking boy that it's, I, it's I was joking. That because you're 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 connected to your your own spirit, you're connected to yourself. So I think that you will find something yeah, it'll be okay. to come um, to. Mm. And, and because you are doing the right things. I mean, if you're doing what you say you're doing and in terms of looking at the profile and talking to women yeah. intellectually, you will find the person that you're looking for. I, I have no doubt that no. you will find that person. So um, I wish you well in that journey. Yeah. And, and you never know, brother. You never know, neither brother. You might see me again and I might be the person that marry you. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just never know, bro. Never know. 
<laughs> you never know. You never know. This is, you never know. <laughs> this is this has been a really good. I mean, we will come back and we will talk. I mean, this was kind of like a really impromptu kind of session today, and we've talked about many, many different kind of aspects of relationship. I think this is something that that could could be quite beneficial to a lot of people moving forward. Um, do you know what? It might be good to revisit this like further down the process like, yeah. and, and see where we're at. Have our views remained the same? Have they changed? Have we connected with someone on an emotional level? You know what yeah. I mean? It would be yeah. good yeah. to see it further down the road yeah. to, to, you know, to see what's what. Okay, so should we, should we go at week four? Yeah. We're at week, we're kind of like week one. Yeah. So maybe in like two, three weeks, see, yeah. see where, where people are at. Yeah. We'll be all at work by then. Pardon? And I don't we, might all, we might all be at work. Well, let's see what happens. It will be at all. I think, I think this lockdown thing is going to be quite well. If you go by Italy, you go by Spain, you go by Wuhan or whatever it is in China, you're going to see the level of time. So I reckon it's, I reckon... 12 16 weeks easy wow easy easy because they're just kind of, and even though they're, that they're coming out of lockdown they're not out of full lockdown no and they're still getting it as well and yeah, yeah so it's 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 gone through the the thing has gone through its peak but it's still peak they're still controlling people so this thing is going to be for a while but the mm. advice that i would give uh, moving forward as, and, and I'm going to take my own advice as a matter of fact. So we're going to come back in about three to four weeks' time, right? Are we agreed with that? Guys on Facebook, if you yeah. want that, show some yeah. us on the Facebook feed, yeah. right? So we're going to come back in about two to three, four, three weeks' time, whenever. And those of you who are single, I want you to go up there and I want you, and who want to be in a relationship, right? You want to be in a relationship. I'm going to challenge you to go on a dating site, because this is the only way that we've got. Go on a dating site and start to talk to a few people and see if you can match yourself with any one person and see where it goes and come back and tell us how you're getting on. There's no harm in it because nothing can go on. You're just gonna talk and get to know a person from a distance. And let's see. Let's see how the process works. Let's see how we get on. Mm. Let's, mm. you know, let's let's just see. Because at the end of the day, once this is all over, you would have gone through that dating process. As I said, go yeah. on the dating site, meet someone, start talking. You talk on the site, you get to know them a little bit better. You then maybe go on to WhatsApp, you're talking on the phone, you're hearing each other's voice, and maybe you can do a video call, you can see the person eye to eye and make sure the person is who they say they are because we're not in the catfish business. We're not into that at all, right? So you see who the person is. And then, you know, by the time we come back um, to the show of doing this and finding out where we are, you will have a story to tell. And, oh, I've seen this person, and, yeah, we're getting along, blah, blah, we haven't met yet. Mm blah 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 the next step would be i'm at the park you're at the park you're you keep your social distance i keep my social distance I, you have a conversation and you go home yeah and then we take mm. it further from there it would be really good to come maybe three weeks from here yeah i hope you guys are interested and will meet us back here the lady um, with the thumb what's her name the lady with the, the, I don't hear her say anything yet. The lady with the thumb and the, and the glass of wine. Every time I see her, she has drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> she has wine. What's your name, young lady? Lorraine. Lorraine, okay. Oh, Carol. Which I'm not sure what to call you. How much name you have? There's only one name you're supposed to have, you know. I've got two and they're legal. Oh, okay. I'll let you off this time. <laughs> <laughs> see, all she does is laugh, you know, since she come here, you know. I love to laugh. We I mean, like you, man. We I mean, like you, all you laugh, man. I mean, like that. I don't like being sad. I love to laugh. Yeah, that's good. That's, guys, guys, I want to thank you guys for being here on this chat tonight. Um, 
it was an impromptu, it wasn't planned, it was just something off the cuff. But I really want to thank you all for taking part, being a part of the show. And, um, you know, I'm here every Monday between the hours of 8 and 10. I run a show called Conversations with Yvonne Michelle. We talk. And this is about talking. This is about us conversing and, and really just kind of, you know, getting to know one another. If you would like to be on the panel, if you have something that you want to advertise, if there's something you want to say, please do private message me and I will give you a space on the show on a what? Monday. Oh yes, I will give you a space on the show. Oh what? Yes. yes, I will. Call me here. You're going to hear us on here. We're doing this. We have like, on Monday. We had a lady from America, um, and we zoomed her in. So we were all in, in, in the Zoom room and on Facebook. So this is how we do it, guys. This is how we're doing it. We Good. can have anybody in the mm. world as long as they've got the internet. They can be a part of this, and um, and I want this to grow. This is good that we can put the UK on the map. We are talking and we are doing our thing our way. Mm. And so I just want to thank you. Um, Carol says men have mood swings like we do. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, really. <laughs> Okay. And, and the feed is still going. Um, yeah, the feed is still going on. Um, Kellyon is Kellyon. You're not on mic, you know. <laughs> you're, you're not muted. You can talk, you know. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm a typical, well-mannered West Indian young man. You know, I, I, I talk when I'm told or asked to talk, which I'm sure wow. I'm gonna today. Oh, my thing's gonna go. All right, my darling. Yeah, yeah. Men, so, so everyone's like, so guys, we have, yeah, hold on, hold on, I actually, I actually wanted to say something actually, go for it, yeah, yeah, because um, this is definitely going to be a cost effective time, it means I don't have to spend up my money taking out a woman for a date, I'll be saving a lot of money this period. Well, <laughs> so you met someone on the panel, then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the point yeah. I'm making I think there has to be really a, a conversation about dating with regards to um, the actual day because it, it can be quite costly uh, especially mm. for the guy and, so that's and another topic then isn't it cost definitely yeah but it's, it's worth it in the end though um, that depends that, that, that depends how many dates you go on oh okay so there's only we... one date more to go on with do we want? Do, do we want to create? A, do we want to talk about this? Do we yes, want to please. Another yeah. show. Another show. When yeah, 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 you could do like going Dutch or not, or something like yeah, that. Going Dutch or not. So, when would you like this to happen? Hey, any time. Any time. I'm on the. I'm on here Monday night, eight or ten, and then I'm here Monday in the day. Thursday, I'm on. So today is what? Are we on Tuesday? What day is it today? You're, you are talking like you're not on the lockdown right now. That's no, the way you're talking like. I'm just saying, I'm happy to facilitate this because men are for chat. So yeah. I'm very, very happy to do this. So yeah. ladies and gentlemen, if you would like me to house this next Tuesday, if we leave Tuesdays for relationship day, how is that? Sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Today's is relationship days. And let's let's keep it late because then we can really talk quite candidly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We can talk quite yeah, that's cool. So we are gonna be here next <laughs> next week, Tuesday, and we're going to be talking after dark and we're gonna be talking about was it dating? What is it? To, what was the topic you said, Ruth? Going Dutch. Going Dutch or not? Going Dutch. All right. Um, are you guys willing to be part of the panel again? Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. I, I came up with it. So, okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> so next week, what I'm going to do is next week as well. I'm going to live stream this on YouTube as well. Okay. So we're going to do Facebook, YouTube, and we're going to be in the Zoom room. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Patrick, are you going to be here next week, Tuesday? Well, as I said, it depends if I'm working or not, because you never know. Okay. With me, with my job, it's different. So you never know. So 
if I'm if I'm around, yes. If I'm not, okay. then obviously not. Okay, but well, you... if you're around, there will be a spot for you, my friend. <laughs> I've okay. really enjoyed hosting you guys today. Thank um, you. And for those of you who are on Facebook, I want to thank you for being with us today. We are going to be here next week, Tuesday. We're going to do 10 o'clock again. Yes. Yeah, 10 o'clock, Tuesday evening, conversations with Yvonne Michelle. We're talking relationships. And this one is, you know, are we going to go Dutch or not in the dating? For those of you who are single, tell your single friends to be on because we're going to get tools, tips, strategies of how we're going to date and how we're going to prepare this is about us preparing for when the lockdown finish. This one. It yes. looks like I'll have a, a lot of hats to buy. Well, <laughs> you might do. You might do indeed. And that would be good. That would yeah, be good one. We got we got to give ourselves something to look forward to. Yes, man. I can't wait to get the tweet suit. <laughs> Patrick, man, Patrick, you joke too much. Oh, Patrick's great. Yes, man. So let's do it. So, guys, thank you very much for joining. It feel, I feel like I'm going to be doing conversations with Yvonne Michelle five nights a week just to be entertainment. You know, maybe Friday night would be the music night. Hey, Kelly, on, you can do some singing. Kelly, on is also. Hey. Hey, come on, man. We're both singers, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll just, absolutely. I'll just harmonise over you, yeah? Well, we'll do something. Well, Kelly's a musician as well, isn't he? Yes, he is. Jude, are you still on the line? If Jude is still here, because Jude is the man I need to speak to, because I need, now that he's, um, I want to see if we can connect and see if he can play and whether there's a, if it will work, and then we can have some entertainment on a Friday night. How does that wow. sound? Well, yeah. you have a club in. Club in your yeah. own wine. <laughs> your own wine. Look, mine's finished. Yeah. You bring your own wine. You bring your own food. Own gin. Little gin. Yes. Little wine, look. It is my little wine. I've had super malt tonight. Super malt. And, <laughs> and that young lady, yeah. you can follow her wine already. How many bottles have you had tonight? I don't think like that. It's only gin. It's gin. It's gin. Okay. It's gin. I'm going to say goodnight. Yeah, we're going. We're going now. We're, we're done. But you know what? I want to thank everybody. So I'll see you next Tuesday. Um, yes. Take care. Remember, I am here. I'm here. Every, I'll probably be here. I won't be here tomorrow. I'm taking the night off on Wednesday. Taking okay. God bless all you ladies and gentlemen. God bless you all. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night.